Hey everyone, this is Kate from Walzer Subaru in Burnsville here to show you around the new Subaru Solterra, the all-electric vehicle coming out this year. This Solterra EV is a limited here. It's gonna have black gloss mirror housing with the Subaru 360 views. Uh, you'll see a little bit more on that when we touch on it in the inside. It does feed into the advanced park and the 360 views that are coming on the new 2023 models. The EV charging port right here for DC fast charging, level two charging, and level one charging. You're gonna take a look here at the front with the steering responsive LED headlights featured on all the 2023 models. And then as we come around the plastic cladding that we've been seeing on all the 2023 models, this vehicle is at its heart a Subaru. So it's gonna be a rugged outdoor vehicle with Subaru symmetrical all wheel drive all the time. Some visual things to note here on the Subaru Solterra, you're gonna see this dual spoiler here on the back, a really nice sloped uh, back window feeding into this little trunk spoiler that we have here. Um, when we open this up, we do have a power lift gate. We have about 62 cubic square feet of uh, storage space here in the back. Um, when you come in the back, you're gonna notice uh, the upgraded Harman Kardon sound here on the Limited, so you do have the amplifier here in the back. And then a little home for your DC charging port for yourself when you get it installed at your home. We're gonna close this up and hop inside. Here in the Solterra, on the interior is where you really see the departure from the rest of the Subaru lineup. Starting with uh, the StarTech seats, which are perforated, they're a little bit different than they've been in the past, the two-tone here on the Limited. We have the Harman Kardon upgraded audio, the upgraded visuals here on the new display, which is a little bit wider, a little bit lower. You're gonna have touchscreen when it comes to your climate control and a knob shifter here, along with a wireless charging area for your phone, which is pretty convenient. Coming on over here, you have the power button right here. You have trip odometers and everything like that on the right hand side. And then you're gonna have a much more upright display when it comes to your speed, your power, your drive, everything over here. The Subaru Solterra has an electric range of 222 miles. The steering wheel still has all your controls for your adaptive cruise control, as well as the traditional cruise control, which you can now activate via the steering wheel. You're also gonna have this pass-through, which offers a lot of center storage for you and your passengers. The Solterra backseat is a traditional 60-40 flip, so you can flip it down and you can have a ton more space for cargo. You can have another person back there while having enough more length in the cargo space for anything else you might be bringing with you. With the Subaru Solterra, you get Subaru crafted quality with the symmetrical all-wheel drive, great comfort for you and your guests, all in an electric body. Subaru love is now electric. So I wanted to take the Solterra for a spin because I wanted to see how it feels with the symmetrical all-wheel drive, um, with the battery being a little bit lower to the ground, you still have really good grip. I would say if I were to compare it to another vehicle in the Subaru lineup, it kind of feels like it drives similarly to an Outback. It's got that kind of heavy feel. Um, I love the upgraded infotainment. It makes it very easy to use, switching from CarPlay to other sources for content and media. You can see up here on the driving display that you, can, uh, you have your range as far as how many more miles you can go on this charge. Um, with EV vehicles in Minnesota, it does change the range uh, from season to season. So it's something to keep in mind if you're looking at transitioning to an EV. On the 2023 models with the Subaru, the new standard is going to be all wireless Apple CarPlay, which personally as someone who kind of forgets cords and also hates dealing with cords, it makes things really easy. You do have the cubby for your phone, which is really nice. But then if you need a card for something, a cord for something that can't do wireless Qi charging, down in the pass-through, you do have two USB-C ports. The biggest thing I've noticed with the Subaru Solterra is this is probably the quietest drive I've ever had in a vehicle. The sound of the electric motor is practically a whisper. Turning it on, it's very, very, very quiet. The, the sound inside of the vehicle is very low. Um, but yeah, you're not gonna hear the engine, which kind of threw me off when I tried to turn it off the first time because I thought I had already turned it off and I hadn't, so. That's a new learning curve for me. Driving on the road though, you barely hear anything. So Kate, it's winter, it's Minnesota. I have my electric vehicle. How am I gonna get warm? Cause there's no engine, so you're not dealing with any extra heat coming off of the running of the vehicle. Well, I'll tell you. So you got a couple of different options. We have a 360 heated steering wheel, which is honestly, I didn't know how much I wanted one of these until I started driving the Solterra. And then you also have your heated seats in here. And because it's an electric vehicle and there's no emissions, you can actually have your vehicle just run while you're in your garage waiting to heat up for you. So there's different options when, you, when it comes to getting the cabin up to the temp that's more comfortable for you and your guests. 
And that was the Subaru Solterra, the new all-electric vehicle from Subaru. If you want to come in and take a look at it, this is going to be our showroom model. It is a limited. You can always call, click, or stop in Burnsville here on Buck Hill Road.